So let us discuss the new topic that is culture media and culture methods. So in culture, firstly we are going to discuss about our culture medias. Okay, these are important topic because it is uh, very essential in our microbiology practicals. Okay, so what do you mean by culture media? Culture media is nothing but the media in order to uh, culture microbes. So uh, why we needed culture media? to isolate okay to isolate the pathogens from a patient sample why we need to isolate so we can do biochemical reaction why we needed to do biochemical reaction so in order we can identify what is the causative pathogen okay so that is the cultural media then what are the types of cultural media mm. so cultural medias are classified into two based on the consistency and based on growth requirements so based on consistency cultural medias are classified into three and you already know what are all the three that is the liquid culture media semi solid culture media then there is our solid culture media solid culture media so, okay solid culture media is nothing but the agar agar liquid means nothing our liquid broth okay then semi solid we use it for what Usually we use it semi-solid culture media so to demonstrate motility. Okay. So based on consistency divided into three. Then based on growth requirements, it is divided into two. That is our routine culture media. And that is our synthetic. Okay. In uh, routine culture media, we needed additional uh, growth requirements other than agar. So, uh, routine culture media are about seven ty different types. Okay, then there is synthetic culture media. Here we use a synthetic nutrients. Okay, that is man made nutrients. It can be either classified into two, it can be simple synthetic culture media, or it can be complex. Complex material can be produced by complex synthetic cultures. Okay, so uh, there are two routine culture medias and synthetic culture medias. So routine culture medias are the one that is important for us. Synthetic culture media just avoid it. We don't need it. Okay, because we usually do in lab is the routine culture medias. So what are all the different types of routine culture medias? You usually said here we needed additional growth requirements. Okay, so the different types of uh, routine culture medias are let us classify into seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. First one is the symbol. We are classifying routine culture medias. Okay, there is symbol only basal culture medias. Then there is enriched culture media so simple and basal culture media simple or basal culture media means these are the uh, basic culture medias basic which has basic growth requirements okay that is the simple or basal cultural medias and in enriched culture medias we use a simple uh, cultural medias plus we use an additional nutrients that is the enriched culture medias okay then there is enrichment enrichment culture medias in enrichment culture medias we use uh, culture medias that helps to isolate an organism there will be an inhibitor of certain species so we can isolate a specific type of organisms in enrichment culture medias for example if we do a culture media for stool pathogens then we have to isolate the certain required pathogens only so that's why we uses enrichment culture medias then there is special Cultural medias. In special cultural medias, what we use is that it is used for to, uh, for a specific organism only. That is the special cultural medias. Then there is differential cultural medias. Okay. So what do you mean by differential cultural medias is that uh, it helps to differentiate whether a microbe is an uh, lactose fermentase or non lactose fermentase, whether it is a maltose fermentase or a non maltose fermentase, etc. So that's why we use this differential cultural medias. Okay. Then there is our sixth one is the transport. 
transport cultural media okay so what do you mean by transport cultural media for certain uh, if the patient is far from the lab then there will be a transportation time so uh, in order to transport the uh, specimens without any degradation we needed transport cultural media okay that is mean by transport culture media then there are seventh one is the anaerobic anaerobic cultural media sometimes the pathogenic cause organism will be anaerobic so we have to produce an anaerobic condition so that's why we use this anaerobic cultural media so these are the seven types of routine cultural media let us discuss detailedly about each one of them so first one is our symbol symbol or basal cultural media so Uh, there are mainly four types of simple or basal cultural media first one is the peptone water peptone water means nothing it consists of water plus peptone plus nacl that is the peptone water cultural media then there is the second one our nutrient broth so in nutrient broth what will be there is the peptone water plus there will be meat extract so this meat extract consists of additional nutrients so that's why it called nutrient broth okay meat extract that is the nutrient broth so nutrient broth we usually use as in bacterial growth curve study okay in order to study an organism under uh, uh, under nutrients we use as a bacterial growth okay so in order to study bacterial growth curve we use as your nutrient broth then there is nutrient agar nutrient agar means nothing it consists of nutrient broth plus agar so nutrient agar has many uses okay nutrient agar is used in pigmentation okay so nutrient agar used in pigment demonstration then there is to study morphology and also to study biochemical test like our catalase oxidase okay catalyst test oxidase test then there is a serum agglutination test so for such examples so such a for studying of biochemical test we also uses nutrient agar so nutrient agar is the most commonly used simple cultural method okay sorry simple cultural media then there is our fourth simple cultural media that is our semi solid semi solid cultural media so semi solid cultural media we already know why we use it in to demonstrate motility so you see this one is the our peptone water this one is the nutrient agar which consists of a nutrient broth plus agar nutrient broth is nothing but a peptone water plus meat extract okay so that's all about symbol cultural media then our second routine cultural technique is our enriched culture media so we already told enriched culture media consists of what now a symbol there will be a symbol cultural media plus additional nutrients okay so you see this one first one for example first one is our blood agar and the second one is our chocolate agar you see we already said uh, symbol cultural media plus additional nutrients is the enriched cultural media so in blood agar what are all the component blood agar consist of our symbol cultural media like nutrient nutrient agar plus what sheep rbc this is the additional nutrient content so this one is the blood agar when we heat blood agar we get chocolate agar you see when we heat what happens in chocolate agar 
here there will be lysis of rbc so means increased nutrition okay so you see chocolate agar is more nutritious than blood agar so that's why we can grow hemophilus influenza in chocolate agar but we cannot grow hemophilus influenza in blood agar because it is nutrition deficient when compared with the chocolate agar okay then uh, blood agar can be used to differentiate whether an organism is a alpha hemolytic or a beta hemolytic we can help in differentiation okay help in differentiation help in differentiation whether organism is alpha hemolytic or beta hemolytic alpha hemolysis is also called as partial hemolysis whereas beta hemolysis is also called as complete these are all about blood agar and chocolate agar then there is another enriched media that is our low flesh serum slope okay So the name itself indicates what is the additional nutrient content here. It is nothing other than our serum. And this one is used to differentiate our corne bacterium diphtheria. Okay, then our fourth one is the fourth and which is cultural media is blood cultural method. Okay. Blood culture method, this one is the blood culture method, this one is the blood agar. Okay, in blood culture method, it is of two different types. First one is the monophasic, monophasic blood cultural method, and there is biphasic blood cultural method. Okay, in monophasic blood cultural method, there is the component is here is the component is brain heart infusion broth okay brain heart infusion broth is the one present in monophasic cultural blood culture method this one is the monophasic blood culture method this one is the brain heart infusion broth so in biphasic uh, blood cultural method there is brain heart infusion broth plus brain heart infusion agar slope you see there is an additional component here you see this one is the uh, brain heart infusion agar slope so there will be an agar slope plus one our brain heart infusion broth so there is two component in biphasic blood cultural method so this is all about enriched cultural media there are for example blood agar chocolate agar then there is low phase serum slope and then there is blood cultural method our third routine cultural method is enrichment cultural media okay so enrichment cultural media is liquid it is liquid and there will be a what inhibitory agent here an inhibitory agent will be present in order to what isolate a certain pathogenic organism from a group of organisms for example if we to cultivate stool then there will be uh, shigel etc okay so what will happen is that there will be an inhibitory agent to uh, kill all other organisms and to specifically isolate and grow a certain pathogen only that is why it is called enrichment culture media it will usually will be liquid in content and there will be an inhibitory agent present in order to suppress the growth of other microorganisms which we do not require okay it is used in selective growth of bacteria used in the selective growth of bacteria then what are all the different enrich enrichment cultural media first one is our alkaline peptone water alkaline peptone water this one is the alkaline you see alkaline peptone water is used for vibrio cholera it is will be selective grow of all, there will be a grow of selective vibrio cholera 
then there is gram negative broth for example we use which is in shigella sorry it only allows a selective growth of shigella then there is tetra thionate broth this one only allows a selective growth of salmonella typhi so these are the main different types of enrichment cultural medias okay alkaline peptone water is for vibrio cholera gram negative broth is for shigella tetra thionate broth is for salmonella typhi then our fourth method in the routine cultural media is selective culture media so in the name itself indicate it is for only for a selected organism so selective cultural media is example first one this one you see there really there's a slope you see this one is the our lj media lj media or lovenstein jensen lj means lovenstein jensen okay lovenstein jensen media and the second one you see here one is the tcbs that is our thiosulfate citrate bile salt sucrose okay thiosulfate citrate c for citrate b for bile salt sucrose agar okay TCBS agar. This one is the TCBS agar. This one is the Lovenstein Jensen media. So uh, we already told these medias are only for selected organisms. So LJ media is specifically for Mycobacterium tuberculosis. Okay. Then our TCBS is selectively for Vibrio cholerae. So our first one is the LJ media, then, then there is TCBS agar, then there is our third one. Third one is DCA. Deoxy Collate Citrate agar. Okay, DCA means deoxy collate citrate agar. This one is the DCA. Then there is our fourth one that is XLD. XLD agar, silos, lysine, deoxy, collate agar. Okay. You see the first first one in the selective cultural media is the LJ media. Then there is TCBS. Then there is DCA, deoxy, collate, citrate agar. Then there is XLD, silin, lysine, uh, deoxy, collate agar. Silos, lysine, deoxy, collate agar. So, uh, DCA agar, DCA agar is used for enteric pathogens. This is selectively for enteric pathogens. Like what? Enteric pathogens like Salmonella, Shigella etc okay which are present in stool and the pathogens means inside the gut okay so dc agar deoxycholate citrate agar is used for enteric pathogens like salmonella and shigella and uh, our xld agar is similar to dca agar it is similar to dca agar okay like dca is also used for enteric pathogens then there is fifth selective selective cultural media fifth one is PTA. PTA means potassium telluric agar. It is selectively for our famous cornea bacterium diphtheria. Then there is our sixth one. Sixth one is Wilson Blair Bismuth 
sulfide okay wilson blair bismuth sulfide agar if you don't remember this much we can see wbwbb yes wbbs agar okay this one is for salmonella typhi So these six are the selective cultural media. LJ, Lovenstein, Jensen media is for mycobacterium tuberculosis. Then there is TCBS, tiosulfate, citrate, bile salt, sucrose, agar, so vibrio cholera. And then there is DCA, agar, deoxycholate, citrate, agar. It is used for enteric bacteria like salmonella, shigella, etc. XLD, that is silos, lysine, deoxycholate, agar. It is similar to our DCA, agar. Then there is PTA, potassium, telluric agar used for coronary bacterium diphtheria. Okay. TCA agar, PTA agar is for coronary bacterium diphtheria. Then there is Wilson Blyer bismuth sulfate agar that is for salmonella typhi. So these are the selective cultural media under routine culture methods. Then our next cultural media is our differential cultural media okay so differential cultural media is used further to uh, identify whether an organism is lactose fermentase or non lactose fermentase whether it is maltose fermentase or non maltose fermentase etc okay especially non maltose fermentase we use it to detect whether it is neisseria gonorrhea or neisseria meningitis maltose fermentase are the neisseria meningitis and uh, um, maltose non fermentase are neisseria gonorrhea so let us discuss about differential culture so the famous two differential culture method is there is only two method famous two one is one on the McConkey agar you throughout we will hear McConkey agar because it helps us to identify whether an organism is lactose fermentase or a non lactose fermentase okay this one is the McConkey agar then there is our next one CLED agar this one is our CLED agar CLED agar stands for cysteine lactose electrolyte deficient agar okay cysteine lactose electrolyte deficient agar CLED agar so let us discuss about McConkey and CLED agar. So McConkey agar help us to identify whether an organism is a lactose fermentase or non-lactose fermentase. Whether an organism to identify or oh, sorry differentiate. Differentiate an organism is a non-lactose fermentase or lactose fermentase. If lactose fermentase there will be production of pink colored colony. Okay if we streak culture here then there will be a pink colored colony here. Okay pink colored colony if a non lactose fermentase there will be colorless and the thing here is that for example you see lactose fermentase for example Asterisia coli and uh, non lactose fermentase example Shigella Shigella is a non lactose fermentase, Asterisia coli will be a non lactose fermentase which produces pink colored colony. So, you see, the thing is here is that these are used for these two, Shigella and Asterisia coli, both are gram negative. So, in McConkey agar, we can cultivate only gram negative organism, but in CLED agar, we can cultivate both gram positive and gram negative okay it is similar to McConkey agar it is similar to McConkey that is there will be we can identify whether an organism is a lactose fermentase there will be portion of colored colony if in just a non lactose fermentase there will be a colorless colony similar to McConkey but here we can cultivate both gram positive and gram negative exceptions are there in gram positive exceptions are there exception include beta hemolytic streptococcus and candida these are exception we cannot cultivate beta hemolytic streptococcus and candida but uh, all the other gram positive can be cultured in CLED or cysteine lactose electrolyte deficient agar so these two are the 
differential cultural methods mcconkey and cl idiaga then next routine cultural method is our transport sixth one is our transport cultural media so transport cultural media you see one is the for famous carry sorry this one is carry blair medium okay carry blair carry blair medium so carry blair medium is usually used to uh, transport stool if it takes more than two hours then we have to cultivate or we have to uh, culture the pathogen in a carry blair medium then we have to get into the lab otherwise uh, if it was within the two hours we can get into lab then there is no need of a transport media if it takes more than two hours then we needed carry blair medium for stool cultures okay so we use this carry blair mediums for pathogens like shigella vibrio cholera salmonella you see this all are enteric bacteria enteric pathogens okay so carry blair medium is used mainly in stool if it takes more than 2 hours we use clary blair medium then there is our next transport media for example pikes then there is amis media amis media you see pikes media is used in streptococcus and amis media is used in nisseria species you might not need to uh, by heart all these examples if you can you could otherwise just skip it okay then there is carry blair medium then there is pikes media and amis media these are the examples for transport cultural medias then there is our famous anaerobic cultural medias so in anaerobic cultural medias there are many examples like our famous one is our most commonly used robertson cooked meat broth extract okay robertson's cooked meat broth this one is the most commonly used you see this one is the robertson cooked meat broth there will be meat particles meat chopped meat particles inside it then another example for anaerobic cultural methods or anaerobic cultural media is thioglycolate thioglycolate broth this is the thioglycolate the second one is the thioglycolate broth then there is anaerobic blood agar then there is brain heart infusion brain heart infusion agar egg yolk the thing is that we have to provide an anaerobic condition here in anaerobic culture media so okay then there is phenyl ethyl agar then there is neomycin blood agar but it is not important so let us study this three this three is important robertson cooked meat broth thioglycolate broth anaerobic blood agar brain heart infusion agar and egg yolk agar phenyl ethyl agar are the some example for anaerobic cultural medias okay these are all about seven routine cultural methods seven routine cultural medias first one is our simple cultural media which is used as a base for other cultural medias then there is enriched cultural media sour blood agar and chocolate agar there will be additional nutrients here is the sheep rbc then there is slough serum slope there is serum additional serum then there is blood cultural method then there is enrichment cultural media enrichment cultural medias are for uh, selective growth of organisms like vibrio cholera in alkaline pepton water shigella in gram negative broth tetrathionate broth for salmonella typhi etc then there is selective cultural media the different in uh, enrichment cultural media and the selective cultural media is that in enrichment cultural media there will be an inhibitory agent etc okay there will be an inhibitory agent which suppress all other organism except the need the organism which we needed but in selective cultural media we can only cultivate a uh, specific microbes so the selective cultural media include the lj media for uh, mycobacterium tuberculosis then there is our uh, thiosulfate citrate bisulfate sucrose agar for vibrio cholera then there dca agar and the xld agar dca agar and xld agar are similar for enteric back pathogens you know, so like salmonella shigella etc okay then there is pta potassium telluric agar then there is wilson blair bismuth sulfate agar 
then our next fifth method is the differential cultural method differential cultural method uh, example are the uh, to, in order to differentiate an organism uh, so there is McConkey agar and CLED agar used to differentiate whether an organism is a lactose fermenter or a non-lactose fermenter then there is transport media used for transport for example calorie blier media is used to transport stool if it takes more than two hours to reach the lab then there is anaerobic cultural media the famous one is the robertson cooked meat broth most commonly used one then there is thioglycolate broth so next topic will be cultural methods okay